Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have a 2 franc and a 1 franc coin for you from the country of Switzerland. And there she is on the front of the coin or obverse. It is Helvetia and she is the essentially personification of Switzerland. The female personification of Switzerland is how Numista describes it. And she has 12 stars in front of her on both coins and 12 behind her. Uh, the 24 stars total represent the number of cantons that there are in the Confederation of Switzerland. And there, if you look at the modern coins, um, they have 23 on them. So this coin, which has been minted since 1968, this is the second year, 1969, um, did switch. It's been essentially the same coin, but they did add a star on when the 23rd Canton of Switzerland uh, became part of the Federation. So now the modern coins, the more modern coins, have 23 stars on them. And if you think about it, this is a 50 plus year old coin at this point in time. And uh, so there are going to be some changes everywhere over those 50 years. So if we look at the Helvetia, she has a shield and you can see the lines in the shield and you can see the um, Swiss cross across the middle of it. You can see she's holding a spear and if you get way up to the top you can see the head of the spear sticking between these stars. The, second and third one down. She's wearing kind of a laurel wreath tiara kind of crown. She has a toga on and she's leaning on the shield and down below her on the kind of pedestal it says Helvetia and over here on the left it says A. Bovee and that's for Antoine Bovee the engraver of the coin and over here it says Inc. I-N-C. Uh, there's actually a T there, which we can't see very well, but it's it's incorporated. If we look over here, we can see the same thing, and we can actually see the T better here. Isn't that funny how the T wore off here? So it all, essentially it made it kind of an Anglo incorporated rather than a Swiss German INCT. The T wears off, and you get the INC, which we use in uh, United States and uh, Britain. Again, it's Antoine Beauvais. He did both the one and two franc coins. Same shield, same 22 stars and spear, and same Helvetia. If we look closely, we see the kind of a beaded or toothed inner rim. We see that this is a reeded edge coin, and we flip it over and we get the value on the back. One franc, the number one, the capital FR period, 1969, and then the two franc over here, 1969. This is a design that Antoine Beauvais, uh got from, adapted essentially from A. Walsh. Uh, so Antoine Bovee uh, was the engraver and A. Walsh the designer. These coins first came out in 68. Um, uh, and that's when this new, kind of newer design came out also. Prior to 1968, Switzerland had silver coins. And so when they decided to mint these coins uh, in 1968, they couldn't make them all in Switzerland, all the one franc, two franc, all the other um, values, half franc and other values. They couldn't make them all in Switzerland, so they made some of them at London. And... If, if you remember, we did a video from uh, on the 2 franc from 1968, and the 2 franc from 68 had no mint mark down here. That meant it was from London. Both of these uh, have a B mint mark if we look down below them. That means it was made at the Bern, Switzerland mint. And see how this has this toothed edge, very clearly a toothed edge on this side. We can see the acorns here. We can see the bow on the wreath, the acorns and the oak. These, we can see these beautiful flowers going up the top and some more flowers at the top. Uh, so these are, um, both have the same engraved design on the back and that's a little bit better light maybe. And so the B 
or, or it's either on these 69 ones, it's going to be either a B or a blank. Now, after 1969, they did not put the B on for quite some time. Um, so after 1969, they were all blank, and I believe they were all made in Switzerland. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section.